<laughs> hey, we're visiting Pedro and Lil Bob. We haven't seen them yet, but stick around. And we're going on a run. We're running on underneath all of these pecan trees. It's so awesome. Uh, here we are just back from a very short but beautiful uh, it was lovely. beautiful run. We went to go see uh, Bob and Lil Pedro. No. Scratch Pedro and Lil Bob. Reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went to go see him. Oh, man. And you, you, you can probably make them out in the video. They are apparently on a special diet. They, they changed their signs that used to say, only feed them one handful of grass yeah. Yeah. to don't feed the donkeys. <laughs> yeah, they're, so, they're on some mm, sort of special diet. But we got to see them. It yeah. was really nice. And we ran uh, under all of those hundreds of years old uh, pecan trees. Yeah, it was really nice today. Yeah. Really, really nice weather. Yeah. Now, you may be asking, probably not, but you may be asking, why such a short run? So, it's a good thing. It's not just, no, you know. No, no, what, no. Yeah. no we, we actually ran more 
throughout the week than we have in a very long Some time. time. Mm -hmm. So we, we have gone through our usual cycle of train, 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 race day, yay! Telling ourselves we're going to keep running because we don't want to not eat the way that we're eating right now. Right. Falling off the wagon with running and then gaining some weight. So that's where we are right now. It's an annual thing. It happens every time, no matter what we tell ourselves. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always hungry. You know what's neat, though, is that we're looking back. Uh, you know, Laura keeps a, an awesome diary. I got her a multi-year diary. So when she writes a new entry every day, we go back now three years to look at the entries for that day for you know each previous year. And apparently... Uh, I have to get a lot of PT after a marathon. Both of us do. Yeah, so, so, and that's also what happened, right? Yeah. So, you know, we made it home. We started our run streak in February and then almost immediately had to stop because he had some uh, knee issues, which actually turned out to be hamstring issues. Right. Bodies are weird. Um, mm -hmm. So he's been kind of in PT since then and because we're such a team. I'm like, I'm not going to go running without you. That's certainly. right. That's right. Um, we so, are a team. <laughs> Mostly got in one weekend run, but we weren't really pushing it during the week. So, yeah. you know, when we're normally training, we run a couple times a week. Yeah. We weren't doing that one short run on the weekend or one race yeah. on the weekend. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, not doing much else. And we started to get a little dilly. Because <laughs> we still like to eat lots of fun stuff. Um, Again, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. But this week, we're like, let's do this. Let's so, do it. Because um, you're... You haven't graduated PT yet, no. but you're much better. Feeling much better. Um, you know, so mm -hmm. we we went out on Wednesday, uh -huh, Wednesday, Wednesday, and we ran. I don't know, almost like a mile and a half. Oh no, it was like two and two and yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it it was. I thought we just ran the same route we walked Millie. On Wednesday, which was mm -hmm. she walked a really long. It she was, went and walked yeah. a mile. So we we ran over two miles. Okay. And then um, we did. <laughs> and then we skipped Thursday. We ran on Friday. That one was just a mile and a half, less than a mile and a half. Yeah, it was longer on Wednesday. It was a good one. <laughs> okay. It was a good one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we ran today, and because we ran on Wednesday and Friday and Friday, and I did some yoga in there, and you did some yard work, and like all that, our legs were like shot. Not feeling too strong this morning, so we got to the park, and it's a park that we go to sometimes, but we don't go there often enough to know how long the different legs of, yeah. the, you know, the route are. Yeah. So I was like, okay, how about this? We'll just run that big circle, and we won't go out to, like, that out and back over yeah. here, right? And so we ran that, and it ended up being almost exactly a mile. Yeah. So yeah, like, we oh. ran a mile a day. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, and it's actually a really nice a mile because it's mostly it's shaded. shaded. And it's it's really, really nice. Yeah. And, and today it's it's uh, cool, but it's full sun. So in and the sun, human. you know, it's like, oh, man, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was like 80, <laughs> 81. 81% humidity on yeah. our walk this morning. So in the sun, it's like really hot, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it's cool outside. But when you hit the shade, it's like, oh, man, it feels yeah. so good with a nice little breeze. So mm -hmm. it, it was a nice mile route. Now we know it's a mile. Yeah. And again, we, we got to see uh, Pedro and Lil Bob. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. Uh, and, and that's, that's you know, basically it. Um, we are going to, I guess, very soon, maybe, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know, very soon, uh, start figuring out what our training plan really will yeah. be. Because, uh, as we mentioned last week, we have that coast to coast. And... Uh, you know, I know we can run a, a half marathon. We've done it. And, you know, training for it is, you know, it's training. But we've never run one back-to-back -back in a week. Yeah. And if my legs are feeling wobbly just from doing yard work, we're going to figure something out. We, are, we have not been training currently. Uh, we'll acclimate. Yeah. Uh, and again, uh, hats off to all you dopey people because uh, we barely made it through a mile today. I was like, I, I don't Oh, really? Seriously. <laughs> like running back to back. I even said, and, and you know, I'm a big crybaby, but I almost said just as we began the run, I'm like, how do, how do dopey people do it? <laughs> so hats off to you. That, that, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. That, that mm -hmm. is very amazing. Yeah. So, um, so all that's going on. Uh, and, and some other things, uh, just some, you know, 
like real teeth pulling kind of things are going on. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, some of you know that I was actually incapacitated on registration day, uh, which uh, really put the spotlight on, on Laura. And, and then again, thanks to our wonderful <gasps> friends, we, we were able to get in for the half. Uh, but the reason briefly is I have never, uh, I've never had any problems with my teeth. Like I've never had a cavity. I've never had, you know, nothing. And um, uh, I uh, started getting the pain uh, and it turns out, real long story, uh, very short. It turns out my, my wisdom tooth like broke a piece off and uh, I'm not in pain, but it's missing a piece. And so I went to the dentist and they were like, yeah, well, well, you know, let's, let's clean your teeth and take x-rays cause oof. Uh, and, um, they said, when was the last time you saw a dentist? And I said, like 11 years ago. And they're like, oh, okay. And that's not an exaggeration, y'all. No. Yeah. And, and so they took x-rays. He has really good teeth. They took x-rays <laughs> and everything. They said, hey, good news. The x-rays show that you surprisingly have really good teeth. I'm like, great. And they said, you know, you, you floss, right? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, like once a day. I'm like, no one, something stuck. No, obviously but. not once a day. <laughs> so anyway, all that to say, <laughs> I have great teeth, but a wisdom tooth, like, broke a piece off and it's like it's just on the side and it's apparently not deep enough to fill and it's not deep enough to correct in any way other than to pull it so uh again i never go to the dentist right uh so i went in um to have my wisdom tooth pulled and they couldn't get my blood pressure down uh because uh did I mention I'm a big crybaby? So I was freaking I out. I told him not to look at the tray with all the tools on it. And he ended up looking at the tray with all the tools on it. <laughs> I'm like, how is it you can take x-rays with this futuristic radar gun? And... <laughs> it's pretty barbaric. <laughs> you're telling me you're going to grab a piece of really shiny pliers and just pull my tooth out? I mean, don't you have like a transporter beam that can just like... Anyway. So they couldn't get my blood pressure down. So now I'm on, uh, uh, I'm getting some help. It's getting to, a chill pill, to, like we yeah. give to Millie to go to the vet. So I'm gonna take a, <laughs> I'm, gonna take a I'm gonna take a chill pill, and apparently I'm gonna be like, this is awesome, so that my blood pressure won't spike, so that they can they can boop or whatever they do, I don't want to know, and pull my tooth, and that's gonna happen in several weeks. So anyway. Anyway, he was in the dentist chair, and I'm over here uh, manning all the computers to uh, try to register. So thank you again, Riley, Chris, and Breezy, because uh, <laughs> that's what happened. So again, I'm not in pain, but gotta go. If somebody knows of a better way, please <laughs> leave some if comments. If your dentist has some magic, yeah. we're willing to travel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, look, the last time I went to a dentist 11 years ago, it was because somebody was going through dental school and they just wanted somebody to practice, practice cleaning on. So that's all they did. They just cleaned, right? The the Ooh. the time I went to the dentist before that was 20 years before that. No exaggeration. 20 years. And when they took x-rays, they made me bite down on what felt like razor blades, pieces of cardboard shoved in my mouth. And the x-ray technician like went into another building behind six feet of lead to hit a button so the cosmic rays would like and now it's like they're like here you go here you go oh look at look at how beautiful they're almost like in color i'm like wow this is amazing if anybody so knows too. if anybody knows of a better way <laughs> anyway that's what's going on i just wanted to clear that up because because uh, it's been on his mind yeah 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 Holy mackerel has it. I think my blood pressure is spiking. <laughs> yeah, we still have a few weeks before the appointment to get a pull yeah. too. So. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's going on. <sighs> that's what we've been doing. Let us know how you're doing. And we want to say to a massive, massive congratulations to our pal, Riley. Yay. She ran the Boston Marathon. <laughs> that is fantastic. So way to go, Riley. We are just Ooh. so awesome. Oh, we need our clickers. Oh, yeah. Right. way to go uh you know we love hearing from you we're uploading every week we're gonna start getting on a training plan we want to hear from you there's so much going on because it's always an adventure with you we'll see you next week